research that Dr. Gregor discussed in a recent interview couldn't have come at a better time, as plant-based milks are really being put through the ringer at the moment in the media. With headlines such as, plant-based milk drinkers have a higher risk of depression, study claims. Are plant-based milks as healthy as you think? New study challenges assumptions. Two, research suggests vegan staples such as almond and oat milks are not as good for the planet as was once thought. And the worst plant-based milks to avoid for health. Now I want to keep this channel as balanced as possible, so I will discuss the potential problems as well as the positive benefits of a plant-based diet. Which is why in a previous video we looked at the downsides of plant-based milks. And also in the next few weeks, we'll look at some new findings that suggested one particular plant milk could harm our teeth. But now for some encouraging research, as we hear from Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org. The most exciting thing I cover is there are these gorgeous randomized crossover trials, soy milk versus uh, cow milk, and that you can do a meta-analysis of a dozen, 20 studies or something, show that same drop in LDL cholesterol, right? So significant drop in the risk of the driving factor of our number one killer just by that simple swap, dairy milk to soy milk, a significant drop in LDL, whether it's a part of the soy protein, do other milks do it, blah, blah, blah. There's lots to look into. But that's what so excited me. It was like saving lives by just a, uh, a few servings of a plant-based milk, keep, keeping the rest of the diet the same. Like how amazing, that simple swap. What happened when participants of an intriguing study ate half a cup of soybeans every day? We'll find out next. <laughs> 